With its quirky name and easy to follow rules, pickleball has quickly become the go-to game for many around the world. Since the game demands little physical activity, it can be played by men, women, and children alike. Let's look at what pickleball is and how it became so mainstream. So, what is pickleball? To put it simply, pickleball is a unique mixture of tennis and badminton. It is a paddle sport played on a badminton-sized court with a wiffle plastic ball and a tennis-style net. It may be played in singles or doubles. Because the fence is a little relatively lower, there's less running around. Players are physically closer to both their teammate and the opponent. Let's uncover the history of the game. Although the game became very popular in recent years, the game's roots can be found in the late 1900s. The game was first introduced by Joel Pritchard, a U.S. congressman in 1965. He, along with his two friends Bill Bell and Barney McCallum, had come back from golf one Saturday afternoon to find their families incredibly fed up with their mundane routine. So, the three men got to work. Someone suggested playing badminton as all the children started to prepare and play. Rather, unfortunate news was relayed to them. The shuttle was nowhere to be seen. A wave of grief passed by the kids as they sat down, dejected. The parents, trying to find a way out, suggested using a wiffle plastic ball. To further aid the kids to make the game enjoyable, the badminton nets were lowered for easier throwing and the repurposed plywood from a nearby shed to make the paddles. Unknowingly, the three men had made up a whole new sport that Saturday on Bainbridge Island, Washington. A nice, happy accident. After playing the first round of the game, the men knew they were onto something. McCallum especially saw potential in this game. He had the very first paddle made, keeping in mind the game. He made several different alternatives, and after multiple trials, the paddle, called M2, was chosen. In 1972, McCallum took this a step further, as, after sensing the potential profits, he founded Pickleball Incorporated in 1972. That was certainly a step up from making paddles in his basement. Where did the name Pickleball come from? I'm sure you all have this question. Who names the game? And why on earth would they choose such a unique name? To answer your first question, Joel Pritchard's wife, Joan Pritchard, was the one who names the game that fateful Saturday afternoon. She was there when the men had improvised the ball and the net length, after which she decided to name the game Pickleball. That leaves the question, why Pickleball? Well, this one is not that easy to answer. There are multiple accounts on how she derived the game's unique name. The first reason may be that upon looking down at how the game was played, it reminded her of the pickle boats crew, consisting of oarsmen, selecting from the leftovers of other vessels. This makes sense because of how the game took elements from a few games to form their own version, much like their pickle boat counterpart. Another reason for the name Pickleball, quoted by sources, is less rational and a bit more sentimental. According to some people, the name was derived from Pritchard's dog Pickle. Allegedly, the dog loved playing with his toy ball, hence the name Pickleball. The second reason definitely touched our hearts. The game has certainly evolved from its infant stage in early 1965. So, how is it played now? Well, let's find out. Next, the court and net. The official size of the court for both doubles and singles is 20 feet by 44 feet. The lines on a pickleball court are comparable to those on a double badminton court, with the exception of the front service line on a pickleball court. The net is 34 inches tall from the middle and 36 inches tall on each end, while the net posts are 22 feet apart. Now, the ball and paddle. The ball is what started the whole pickleball saga. So, what does it look like nowadays? When the game was first created, the ball used was a wiffle ball. Since then, USA Pickleball and the International Federation of Pickleball have embraced pickleball-specific ball criteria. The balls must be made of very tough material and should have a smooth finish. The ball must have between 26 and 40 equally spaced circular holes. The cumulative length and diameter of the paddle cannot surpass 24 inches and the length must not supersede 17 inches. Next, rules to play the game. If you found any of the previous information interesting and are contemplating playing, listen to the rules to have an idea of what to expect. Much like its counterpart, badminton, the game is started off by serving the ball diagonally across the court, all the while making sure that the ball does not bounce in the server's area. Points are granted to the opposing team when the other makes an error, such as not being able to hit the ball back or when the team's ball is out of bounds. We're sure you can easily visualize this because the rules are fairly close to badminton. So how do you win this game? Winning the game is a bit more complicated. The team that scores 11 points and leads by at least two points wins. If both teams are tied, the game will go on until one team wins by two points. Although the game has been played for a while now, it has recently exploded in popularity. This can be for a variety of reasons. Let's dive into them. As we've talked about earlier, the game is an amalgamation of tennis and badminton. The game takes rules from both of them, giving it a unique and interesting playing experience. Who doesn't like playing two games at the same time? Now, the health benefits. Not only is the game fun to play, it has long-lasting health benefits. Some of these include improvement in your fluidity, nimbleness. This is credited to the fact that players have to move around their side of the court while
while maintaining good hand-to-eye coordination. Similarly, the game is a good form of cardio and can help you lose weight. Playing one session of the game can supposedly help you lose an upwards of 200 calories. Do you know what the best part is? You're having so much fun that all the exercise you're doing doesn't even register. While playing tennis and badminton can be really fun, these games require high involvement. This means that the chances of sustaining injuries are particularly high. Pickleball, on the contrary, when contrasted to sports like tennis and racquetball, is a lower impact sport with lesser injury risks. Next, playing area. Most, if not all popular sports can be played in designed areas made especially for them. This really limits the number of people that can practically play this game. Pickleball has no such limitations. The game can be played on almost any plain solid surface. You can set up and play pickleball anywhere with mobile pickleball nets and a small amount of space. It's about half the size of a traditional tennis court. All of this adds up to make the sport extremely inclusive. Maybe that's why we've been seeing numerous pickleball courts pop up in parks and even backyards of some Hampton homes. And what about pricing? What deters people from starting to play any sport is how much the gear costs. They're reluctant to invest so much into a sport that they are not even sure if they will even like it. This is not the case for pickleball. The equipment used to play the game is extremely affordable, hence making it more accessible. High quality paddles can be had for less than $50, and balls are only a few dollars each. As for the net, you can realistically use a tennis net if you already have one at home. Although it is about 4 inches higher than the required net, it won't be a major issue for beginners. While health is always a good motivator to play a game, nothing beats getting monetary compensation. Since the game has gotten so popular over the years, you can now win a lot of money at some major competitions. The few last year's Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships attracted over 2,000 players and an $80,000 prize pool. That number will undoubtedly rise as the sport becomes more popular. Making money while having fun, count us in! Next, COVID lockdown. We can all agree that the pandemic has left us craving for a sense of community. We once thought that talking to a group of people without a mask was normal, yet now it's become unthinkable. After sitting in homes for the better part of a year, people were looking for a way to interact with one another. In comes our savior, pickleball. Since the game is a non-contact sport, it can be played by a group while maintaining the government-mandated SOPs. After the opening of pickleball clubs, people were able to interact with each other face-to-face. -face. Many credit the pandemic to be the reason for the 39.3% increase in the game. Celebrities have the unique ability to make a mundane object into a must-have product of the season. This may be the case with pickleball. While it was relatively popular before, after A-listers like the Gates family, Ellen DeGeneres, and Jenna Bush have talked about the sport, its popularity has boosted significantly. With all these factors playing in pickleball's favor, it seems as if it will make its place among all the prominent sports out there. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.